All right, Texas Mosswood here with Adrian Pippery from the Woodlands. He just threw a crazy 72 foot in just his first competition of the year. Uh, Adrian, talk to us about the competition today and uh, how it went throwing it with uh, Cooper and David. Um, today, I just wanted to come in and get the season started with a great throw, and I did that. Um, David and Cooper, they've come a long way, especially Cooper. He PR'd today. That was awesome for him. And um, I came in, I wanted to hit 73 again personally, but I'm very happy with how I did. It's a great start to the season, and I've got a long way to go. I'm really happy with how it went, so yeah. Yeah, throwing 72 any day, you gotta, I mean, you gotta take it for what it is. Uh, but, I mean, we talked to the other guys, and we did an article, the Game of Throws article. Uh, talk to us what it's like being with these guys in the state of Texas and, and even just the Houston area where guys are just, I don't know, they got arms of steel and just throwing out the pits. What's it like? It definitely helps out having all this competition, that's for sure. So, I mean, you go to, you go to plenty of national, international events, uh, but, you, you know, you don't have a, a weekend to, to lay low because you got guys that are always trying to get better, and they're looking at you. You're the guy carrying the, the torch and all of Texas, period. But when you go to national meets, what's it like already having to throw here in Texas, having to throw your best to do great? I definitely have a good, um, it's definitely gives me a lot more confidence when I go in there. I know how to compete with other people that throw just as far as me, especially with the national meets being, having done them a lot. This year, especially, I know what I'm going into, and it's just, it helps it a lot being in the sport, especially in Texas, with all this comp great competition throughout the state. It's awesome. It really helps out. I know that, personally, how hard I work and how much I train, it's definitely going to pay off this year, and uh, I just can't wait to keep doing better. All right, and uh, I know you've got some crazy lofty goals. Uh, what are some of the things that a person like you has to be doing to, to reach those goals? Because uh, I know they're probably 76, 77 feet out there. Uh, what are some of the things you really have to do to reach those, those far distances? Just got to keep working hard. Just can't stop. I've been throwing day in and day out for the last few months now and uh, lifting crazy. Didn't really have an off season, or didn't really have a break since the end of the season, and uh, I'm just ready for the season to get started. And, and what goes through your mind? You said you, you know, you work, you really haven't had an off day. And I saw you after your throw, still going through your spins. When, when you're doing that, what are you working on? Just technique or something that maybe you didn't feel was right when you, in your throw? What, what goes through your mind as a thrower when you're, when you're doing that? Pretty much all what you just said is technique and trying to fix things that I messed up on. And what's going through my mind is I'm just trying to stay calm out there mainly. After I get that first, you know, throw that's a mark, I just try to stay as calm as I can, but of course, you, you know, get fired up before each throw so I can still bomb it out there. But, I mean, I messed up a lot today. I was opening up at the end, and uh, I've got a lot to work on, but throwing 72 feet with a lot to work on is pretty great. So, yeah. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, what are, what are you, your, your plans for this indoor season? Uh, New Balance, I, I'm guessing, but other yeah, than New that, what are, what are some of the things you're looking to do? Uh, I think I'm going to Frisco in Dallas. I mean, I know I'm doing New Vation next weekend. Uh, definitely doing New Balance, and that's about what's planned so far. So not too long compared to some people up north, but uh, right. I mean, for Texas, that's pretty great. Yeah, and um, your Texas commit, uh, well, you signed, not just yeah. commit now, uh, but talk to us about that, and, and what, are you, what are you looking forward to heading to the, the college, college level? I'm very excited to represent the University of Texas and keep doing great and breaking records and getting titles and stuff, and that's just my goal, keep winning. And I can't wait to do it for the University of Texas. All right, and, and what are, give me one thing, maybe two or whatever, that you can think of that you learned being an international Thor that helped you at that college level? Honestly, just how to compose yourself in a meet when you're not winning, you're out there, you're not doing that great, just how to kind of pull yourself together mainly. What it's like to compete with other people from other countries and how different they are, how, how different they compete. It's, everybody's very different and um, just seeing different cultures out there throwing and different people and how good they are and how not good they are. And just having all that experience is definitely going to help out, especially in the college level. Being out there and being able to control myself and compose myself mentally and physically during the competitions is going to be awesome. All right, man. Well, thanks for taking the time. Awesome job today. And uh, I, I don't know, but as a fan, you got to go to every track meet just so you guys throw. And uh, we'll have fun watch you guys throw it out the pit. Thank you. All right. Thanks a lot, man.